Hello, I'm Game Boy Leader, and we're going to be beating my other Mario Maker levels without touching a single coin. So let's get right into it. Why does one immediately lead us to a bad start? Because we need to use a Goomba shoe to get up over all these coins. And that's not all, because I you need to use the piece which inside of the bonus room in order to complete this level, because there's so many coins everywhere. And I didn't even realize this for a couple minutes, but finally this happened. Yeah, I finally managed to get through, but that was just the first level. Oh my gosh. One, two was easy until this part where the coins are literally underneath you. You have to use a Tanuki suit to get under. And that's not all yet, because we still have to avoid these coins at the ending pipe. And it might look like I collect these coins by the end card, but my coin counter didn't go up, so I didn't collect them. And that's still not all, because 1-3 has a whole bunch of coins surrounding the end card. Turns out you need to use a P-Switch that's way up here in order to get to it. But there's still more! One tower is literally impossible, there's no way. Actually, it turns out it is, because one hour later... Yes! It's possible, you have to do a very precise jump, but it's possible. 1-5 looked like it was going to be easy, but then I found these coins, which are literally impossible to get through. Luckily, there's a P-Switch in this level, which lets us skip by all these coins. The next level is really impossible. It's literally impossible, unless you have a Tanuki. If you have a Tanuki, you're able to barely go by these coins and make it to the end. 1-Dash Castle, actually, it's pretty easy, so let's move on. 2-1 was really hard, but it wasn't as hard as some of the previous levels. Yeah, there was some pretty precise jumps, but I eventually made it. And if you saw that, Laxu threw some coins, but my coin counter didn't go up, so we're still good. Anyway, 2-2 took a really long time as well, because there's some coins in bad locations. But I eventually made it to the end. Now, 2 dash tower's easy, but 2-4 isn't. 2-4 took a while. You need to have a Tanuki, and you need to get peace speed, which is really hard to do in that small space. But 2-5 is worse. This took three hours. You need to precisely jump on so much. You, if you miss a single coin, you have to start over. And this took, this right here took about an hour just to get through this, um, all these coins. And those coins at the end messed me up a little bit too. Thankfully, 2-6 was easy, except for some a few coins near the end. And 2 dash Castle was also really easy as it had no coins in the entire level. And we're now done with World 2. Let's go to World 3. And World 3-1 does not lead us off to a good start because I kept dying or touching coins. These coins are absolutely absurd, especially with the cheap cheats. You need to use a Tanuki suit from the previous level. 3-2 was pretty easy. You just had to avoid all the coins until this part where it looked like you had to go through the piece which and get these coins. Thankfully, because there's a magical but clear condition, we have to kill this. But it teleports outside. Then we can use the Tanuki suit to go through these bricks. And the rest of these level, the rest of the level is pretty easy. So 3-3. 3-3 was really easy besides a very, very scary jump right here. But other than that, we can move on to 3-4, which literally has no points in the entire level. So yeah. 3 dash airship was a different story though. We had to do some very precise jumps, but it was possible. Yeah, this was possible. And that's the end of World 3. So, 4 dash 1 was pretty easy besides these coins on the icicles. You had to barely avoid pushing the snowball into them. 4 dash 2 was pretty easy as well. And 4 dash 3, well, actually, 4 dash 3 was pretty hard. You have to use P speed to get over these coins. And for some reason, you have to be small Mario for this, because for some reason, you still can't go through those coins. You have to go through that small gap and then avoid all of these giant coins. But other than that, anyway, long story short, for 4 dash 5, it took over an hour. You need to barely avoid these coins. Use your P speed. Get not get hit at all because you need to jump. And eventually, I was, I don't know how I didn't realize this, but I could just use Lackey too, so like that hour was, for, uh, was a waste. Anyway, 4-Dash Airship is possible, 4-Dash 7 is possible, 4-Dash um, Tower 2 is possible, but 4-Dash 9 is not. You can already see it, it's impossible. I tried it for a couple of minutes and couldn't get it. Luckily in this world that I have, the blue pipes are secret exits, and this one in 4-Dash Tower 1 since it's the 4-Dash Castle. 
level that we skipped is really easy, and the tower, um, castle is too, so let's move on to 5-1. It's actually pretty hard. You need to time the poison just right, but eventually you can use your Tanuki suit to get up above this um, hill, and then from then on it's pretty easy. 5-2, you have to use a pretty obscure trick. You have to stand on the very edge of a thwomp to get through. You have to avoid some more coins by sliding perfectly. But other than that, it's pretty easy. 5-3 and 5 tower were easy, but 5-5 was actually pretty scary because it was a dark level, and I didn't know where the coins were gonna come out. Anyway, the next level might look familiar. That's because I actually did it before in one of the very first Mario challenges that I did. But yeah, it is impossible because you need to use an invisible block. Luckily, there's a secret XM5 tower that sends you to World 7. And, the, and when and the levels we skip, we start at 5 Castle. The levels that we skip starting with 5 Dash Castle, which you might recognize, that's because it's actually 1 Dash 4. So yeah, you have to use this pretty cool looking trick to avoid all the coins, but it is possible. Anyway, moving on to World 6. 6 Dash 1 is really easy. 6 Dash 2, though, isn't. There's an unavoidable ting point that you have to collect. Then you have to use invisible blocks to get to this on off switch so you can continue through the level. 6-3 is easy, 6-4 is a Nintendo level, and you have to use this cool trick to get above the stage in order to avoid all these coins. 6 towers a copy of 1-5, but you play through it backwards, and because 6-5 needed a P-switch and you can't access it here, um, yeah, it's impossible. Anyway, this level is just a copy of 6-1, and it's possible by flying over everything. The next level is a copy of 6-3 from the other world, and it's possible. That, those were 6-7 and 6-6 six, six right there. Now 6-8 was pretty cool. You're seeing it? This took like an hour. But I got a pretty cool run of avoiding all the coins. And so it's possible. And 6 Dash Castle literally has like no coins. So with that, we can move on to World 7. Let's hope it's possible. 7 Dash 1 is easy. 7 Dash 2, I thought the twister would mess everything up. But I just went through it somehow. And then that was easy after that. 7 Dash 3, you need to do a very precise jump. Very precise input to get squeezed by that 10 coin. But then 7 Dash Tower, the hardest level in this challenge. This took three hours. You first have to very precisely get P speed without touching the hammer, or else you have to restart. Then you have to jump off a of Bob Bomb to get over here. Then you need to very, you have to let the leave the Magic Koopa in the perfect spot in order to re uh, reach the um, Boom Boom. Then you need to not take damage so you can swipe your Tanuki suit on the bricks to get rid of them. This took three hours. It's the hardest challenge of the uh, hardest level of the entire run by a long shot. 7-5 wasn't much better. It's like a space themed level. And there's so many coins. I don't even have to say anything. You can tell these were very precise jumps. By the way, this is another Nintendo level. Yeah, pretty much all of World 8 is going to be levels that I've either made already or are just Nintendo levels. I know I got really lazy near the end. Any th anyway, with that, all of the rest of World 7 and 8-1 was easy. But 8-2, you can see already, is impossible. Actually, if you use your Tanuki suit very carefully, you can gain just enough PP to skip the pipe over the entire level. And yeah. That is, this is the last level that's, um, troubling right here. A-Dash Airship. You literally need to use the, um, p uh, frog suit. Yeah, I'm running out of time here, but yes, it is possible. And with that, we came to the final level. So, with that, it is possible to beat my Mario Maker levels coinless. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. This next week is gonna be really packed, so I hope you enjoy it. And see you in the next video.